Hi YouTube, we got some really great news yesterday and I just wanted to do a quick update video and let you guys all know. Um, we did find out yesterday that my husband is going permanent at his job uh, within the next two weeks, so we will have insurance. The insurance starts immediately, so that's really great news. Um, I was really hoping that we thought it was getting close um, just based on what was being said in the meetings and things like that. Um, he's one of just four people, which is really great. I mean, he's really a hard worker and he really deserves it, so really happy. Sorry really happy for him. Um, as far as our fertility and everything, um, we really haven't had a chance to talk about it because he just found out yesterday. But um, I'm not sure exactly what we want to do, whether um, we want to, because I, like I have said um, a couple times, we have the uh, injectable medications right in our refrigerator. So I'm not sure if we want to just go ahead and try a cycle of those and see what happens. Or um, the one thing that my doctor had said before that he prefers to do first is to do the um, exploratory surgery just to see, you know, I guess, I guess the main thing they're looking for is like endometriosis or whatever. I don't really know that much about it. Cause, you know, we really didn't talk about it because we didn't have enough time to go through that before because I knew I was lo losing my insurance. So, um, I think I'm just going to call the doctor and set up an appointment and see exactly what he wants us to do. I really have a feeling he's going to want us to do the, the, uh, exploratory surgery, which is fine. I mean, if, you know, at this point we just want to do whatever it takes. Um, we're just really excited that we can go through the adoption classes and try on our own. And the nice thing is, um, it's, you know, it's April 7th today, and I, my last day of classes is May 14th, I think. Now I'm curious. Yeah, I think May 14th. So I just have, um, I'm on spring break this week, and then I think there's six weeks left. or five weeks. There's five weeks left. So that's actually really great because in the time it'll take to start a new cycle and everything, I'll just be finishing up school, which means <clears throat> I don't have to worry about, you know, how the medication or these new, if I end up doing the injectables, how the injectables will affect me. We're really, really blessed on that aspect of it all. <clears throat> um, other than that, you know, that's pretty much it. We start the classes next Thursday. <clears throat> so a week from tomorrow, which will be fun. I can't wait to get started to get it over with. Um, we're kind of in a pressured time frame here to get our house done because they do have to come and do the home study. And I, I know we had mentioned something to them before about doing the, um, the home study with like the remodeling going on. And I know that they said it wasn't a huge issue, but we definitely have to get, you know, the bedrooms and things like that finished. I mean, I know that's one thing they're going to look at. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so we're just trying to get that done. And I don't know, again, I know I had talked about, I don't know exactly what we're going to do with the bedroom. Um, I don't know if I want to just put, like, we have, like, a queen-size mattress and stuff back in there. Or if we want to set it up with, like, a crib and everything. I don't know, I guess that's something we have to talk about. We do have Paul's, my husband's, um, sister has a crib for sale. It's one of the lifetime beds. I don't know why she's not using it, but... I think it's like, my only concern with it is that it someone gave it to her, or she bought it from someone or whatever, it wasn't bought new. My only concern is I know that there's a lot of recalls on stuff like that, and it is a good deal. They only want $50 for it, and it's, I mean, we'd have to look at it or whatever, <clears throat> but I think it's a pretty good deal. So I don't know, I don't know, if anyone has any information on that, like is there a website or something I can go to to check that out to see if there's like any recalls in this particular crib. <clears throat> Do they come with like serial numbers or something? I mean, I really don't know anything about it because I really would want to make sure that it's, you know, a safe one, that nothing's been recalled on it or whatever. Um, so we actually are going to talk to her about that and just see it because I want to see it first because maybe it's not even worth it. I mean, she says it's in really nice shape and everything, so. And it is, I mean, it's solid wood, so you could always refinish it, I suppose. Um... I don't know, I'm rambling here. I don't really know where my train of thought is. Um, as you can see, <laughs> still haven't finished everything in the living room yet. Things have been so crazy here. Like, I, I've been on spring break this week, but um, I still have a huge paper to write. So I, I just have not been motivated to do much of anything. Because I'm kind of putting off the paper, which in turn I put off everything else. But um, I'm spending the day today cleaning my house, so... Hopefully that mess that you see, although that's just pillows and stuff. That's actually not too bad over there now. Um, but um, 
I'll what I want to do. I wrote to a girl here about the adoption classes. I want to um, do updates each week because I've really done a lot of um, just YouTube searching, and there doesn't seem to be anything out there for people that um, you know have to go through these classes. And I'm pretty sure that it's the same in every state. And I wasn't able to find like any vlogs or anything on it where people are, you know, just writing or talking about their experience. And I want to do that because I think that that's. Um, you know, something a lot of people are probably interested in and, you know, like me, don't have a lot of information on it, um, you know, other than what is told to me. Sorry, I'm, I'm easily distracted, as you can tell. <laughs> but um, I just uh, want to do a quick update, let you know that we will be starting something soon. I don't know exactly what that something's going to be. Um, but I'll do an update with that, too, as soon as I... I think I'm just going to call the doctor's office, make an appointment just for, like, a general... Um, like consultation or whatever to see him and decide exactly what he thinks we should do at this point. But um, I hope everyone's doing really well. I think I mentioned last time a couple people I watched um, are pregnant. So that's really, you know, really motivating. And I, I really feel good about all this. I, I mean, we really feel like um, if we can maybe get pregnant, have a baby of our own, plus maybe adopt a couple kids, um, you know, that's really what we're looking at. We're looking at doing both because we, like I said before, we really want a big family. Um, we want four or five kids. And at this point, um, you know, I just feel like, cause I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm 31. My husband's going to be 38 this year. And we just really kind of feel like we don't have the time to go through this each and every time. Um, so, and you know, there's a lot of kids out there that need to be adopted, so it's really not, um, you know, a bad thing <clears throat> to have, you know, kind of a blended family. But um, hope everyone's doing well. Um, talk to y'all later. Bye.